This is the Eastern Idaho Planning Briefing for July 16th, 2020. So the main highlights uh, for this briefing, briefing period are the heat that's going to be returning to the region uh, for today and into Friday, uh, looking for very warm conditions on Friday. Uh, breezy conditions uh, likely developing Friday and Saturday as we have a cold front moving into the region. Could see some possible fire danger across portions of the Magic Valley into the Snake River Plain. And it looks like it's going to stay continued mild, touch cooler, but mm, still pretty mild going into midweek. So looking at the satellite imagery for this morning, uh, here is that uh, cold front we were uh, talking about that's sitting up here uh, near Vancouver Island. That's going to be moving into the region uh, uh, late on Friday. Ahead of that, we will see some pretty gusty winds as well. Uh, looking at the weather impact overview for the next couple days, uh, a little bit of touch of wind out across the Arco Desert uh, this afternoon. Uh, Friday looks like it's going to be the hottest day of the period and pretty windy uh, just about area wide and uh, some continued wind uh, continuing into Saturday across Snake Plain Magic Valley as well. Uh, looking at the minimum humidity forecast uh, for uh, today, uh, many areas uh, generally in the teens to low 20s. And then as we go into Friday, uh, this is where we're seeing uh, very dry conditions persisting across much of the region and uh, still rather dry as well as Saturday. That cold front that's coming down Friday, Friday night uh, is not going to bring any rain nor showers or thunderstorms with it. It's uh, going to be a completely dry front. Uh, wind gusts uh, looking at today, uh, you see a little patch of area of 25 miles per hour across the uh, INL area over towards craters. Otherwise, most of us will probably be sitting in the 15 to 20 mile per hour range for today. Uh, looks like it is rather breezy on Friday though. Uh, we start seeing wind gusts in excess of 30 miles per hour across portions of the Arco Desert, uh, especially out towards INL, 40 mile per hour wind gusts uh, will probably be pretty common. Uh, many other areas seeing wind gusts up in the 20 to 25 miles per hour range. And then uh, as we go into Saturday, you see those winds uh, continuing across uh, portions of the Snake Plain into the uh, Magic Valley. Uh, lots of uh, 20 to 25 mile per hour wind gusts area wide and then that, there's that big large area of uh, 35 to 40 mile per hour winds likely Saturday afternoon. High temperature forecast today, uh, we are going to start seeing those temperatures creeping up. Uh, many of the areas today will be in the upper 80s to around 90. And then as we move into Friday, most of the region, a lot of the lower valleys of the region will be in the lower, 90, lower to mid 90s. And then as we go into Saturday, we have uh, that return of that slightly cooler air, generally looking at highs roughly somewhere around 90 degrees in many of our lower valleys. And those temperatures are going to persist, it looks like, uh, through midweek. We'll be generally seeing highs right around 90 or so going into midweek. So just to summarize, uh, heat starts building today and uh, peaks on Friday. Breezy conditions expected, uh, especially Friday and Saturday, with uh, fire danger possible, especially across portions of Snake Plain and the Magic Friday Valley uh, Friday afternoon, Saturday afternoon. And still continued mild, not per se hot, but mild going into midweek. And that concludes today's briefing. And if you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Thank you.